hello friends in this video i will tell you how to solve this kind of question so our question is from the max implement implementation shown in figure below and derive the corresponding boolean expression so this is your uh, max uh, here it is max and uh, input is given to you so input is there i not is connected means c and d is working as input and it is connected through a nand gate then C is directly connected here XOR gate is given and the input is C bar D and here D bar. So whenever we complement one of the input, so XOR gate work, uh, will start working like a XNOR gate. X nor gate. I will uh, drive the function for that one and then I will let you know. Here I3 is D bar. So this is our question. So and the select line is A and B. I hope I am considering that you already know how to do the marks question. So let's start solving this one. Okay, so guys, uh, please uh, like and subscribe my channel if you like this explanation. Let's find the function for i0, i1, i2, i3. Because some, some gates are provided at the input of the sum inputs of the max. So let, uh, let's uh, find the function for i0, okay. It will be easy. This way will be easy to do, okay. So let's start doing for i0. So i0 and an AND gate is provided and the input of the NAND gate is C and D, okay. So at I0, you will get CD whole bar. If we open it, it will become C bar plus D bar. So this is your I0. Now come I1 is C, I2 is C bar D. Okay, this is the XOR. If you complement of uh, one of the input of the XOR, you will get the function of the X0. So you can see here, uh, C bar D, C bar is an input and D is an input. So uh, if you talk about the, uh, what, if you talk about uh, uh, function of the X, XOR, so that is a a b bar plus a bar b okay so if you now a become c bar okay so c bar to the whole bar d plus c bar d bar now you will open these whole uh, both the bars will cancel out and this will become c d plus c bar d bar okay and i3 e i3 is d bar okay so this is your function means your uh, max i not is having c bar plus d bar as input i1 is having c as input i2 is having c d plus c bar d bar is as input i3 is having d bar as input okay so let's move to the uh, finding the z this g function okay so now uh, these are the a and b is your selection line this selection line will tell you uh, which input is going to be select uh, this is the function of the max okay so when a b is 0 0 so i 0 will be selected means at the output i 0 will be present when 0 1 a and b is 0 1 so i 1 and 1 0 is i 2 and 1 1 is i 3 i already written i 0 i 1 i 2 i 3 so this is the function for i 0 this is the function for uh, i 1 this is the function for i 2 and this is the function for i 3 okay so you already know the function of all these inputs now you need to do get the z function so z how how you will get this one so simple you can see here a bar b bar means because here 0 0 will go, going to multiply it with the i naught function okay so a bar b bar multiplied with c bar plus d bar similarly here 0 a bar b will become b, b is 1 so it will become b so a bar b this will become a bar b multiplied with c okay max is max works like this okay now a and b bar multiplied with i2 i2 is c d plus c bar d bar so we have multiplied a b bar c d plus c bar d bar similarly c a b a b is going to multiply with d bar okay so we can open we can add all these function and this is your function for z okay so this is your uh, representation of the uh, z okay this is the function for z this circuit now we need to minimize that one okay so we will open this one a bar b bar c bar plus d we have opened this one so we got this one we have a bar b bar multiplied with c bar plus a bar b bar d bar a bar b c a b bar c d plus a b bar c bar d bar plus a b d bar okay so we have opened this one now we will uh, fill the k map because k map is the easiest way to uh, do such kind of uh, questions okay so a bar b bar c bar so just go find a where is a bar b bar so a bar b bar is here now find c bar c bar is here c bar is here okay so uh, if you don't know how to do k map questions so you can check my uh, previous video i have um, they, uh, 
there I have solved many KMA problems. So by there you can check. So A bar, B bar, C bar. So C bar. These two terms are common. So we have put one one here. Only one 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 here. Okay. Now next term is A bar, B bar, D bar. So A bar, B bar is here. And where is D bar? So this this term is having D bar and this term is having D bar. So here one is already present. So we will present uh, put a one here. Okay. Now come to A bar B. Where is your A bar B? This is your A bar B term. So go A bar B. Now find C. So where is your C? C is here. Okay. So C is here. So you need to put one one at the both the position because we take uh, common position in case of K map. Now this is a four term. So it will give you only one. Okay. So A B bar C D bar. So A where is A B bar C D. So C D is here. Okay. Because C D is here. Yeah. So we will put one here. Similar way A B bar C bar D bar. So A B bar is here. Now it is saying C bar D bar. Okay. So C bar D bar we will put this one. Okay. Now A B where is A B and D bar. Okay. So there is two locations for D bar. D bar is there. D bar is there. So you can put one here and one here. Whenever any function is having uh, four variables, so it will give you only one ma one. Uh, it will give you only one one in K map. Okay. When your function is having three variable, it will give you two ones in in uh, K map. Okay. If your variable is having two functions, it will give you four ones in a K map. Okay. Like this. And if your variable is giving only one variable, so it, there will be eight ones. Uh, in your KMAP and if your one variable uh, in case of one variable if your variable is if KMAP is giving you only one it means whole KMAP is filled if if variable is giving you zero means function is giving you zero it means whole KMAP is empty okay so this is your KMAP I filled the KMAP now we will make the pair okay so I take in this one pair so A bar B bar C bar so this will be your function for this one A bar B bar C bar you can see I take a pair of these two okay now next pair is this one these two ones one one so it will be B A bar C D bar okay so this is this function is here okay now next is A bar okay A bar B and C okay so A bar B here is A bar B and this is your green one is your next function A bar B and C then B, C, D bar. Okay. So here you can see here B is common. So these two ones, these two ones can make a pair. Yellow one will give you B, C, D bar. Okay. Now A, C bar, D bar. Okay. So this will be your A, C bar, D bar. A, C bar, D bar. Now this one will be like this. Okay. So this is the simplified function. KMAP is the uh, minimum KMAP will give you uh, the minimum simplified function. After that, you cannot simplify your function. Okay, so this is your sim simplified function. So I hope you got this uh, explanation how to do such kind of questions, how to minimize your function. So guys, if you like my video, please like, subscribe and share. Thank you so much.